up you guys welcome to another vlog it's a casual tuesday vlog and we are right now i'm sitting in the car with my daughter we're going to be going to walmart so i thought i'd take you guys along and also i have to throw in some laundry so on the way there i want to make sure or check if the laundry is free so yeah let's go to walmart oh yeah and i forgot that i have to return some packages that's the main goal because i have a certain date i have to return them by which is in a couple days so i want to get that out of the way and then i figured meanwhile walmart's right there check what walmart has because i saw this one tiktok she was sharing the cutest fall walmart finds and i was like you know what let me go check out if my walmart has those i have two walmarts i'm gonna check out one of them today all right let's go see what walmart has sometimes this section when you first walk in has seasonal items but i'm not seeing anything these are cute they're like little boucle storage ottomans <gasps> for 17 dollars Look at this pressure cooker from the Pioneer Woman. It's so lightweight. I'm not sure about the quality, but it's so cute. And then there's a Dutch oven. I'm going in the home decor aisle. Nothing is really catching my eye. But these are cute. I just bought a vase. This one actually is really cute. This one would have worked. Ooh, this one's really nice for $10. And then they have a wood one. I should have totally waited. Oh, and this blush pink one, or these, are so cute as well. Donut cups. I always love to scan the mugs just to see if there's anything that like, catches my eye. I usually like small size mugs though, but they do have some cute ones. This kind of reminds me a little bit of anthropology, but just a different vibe. Ooh, look at these. Wow, oh, is this a little RV? Little camper mug. Stop it, so cute. Their stemware and glasses are usually pretty cute as well. Cute, see, cute, see. Ooh, is this double walled? I think it's double walled. Time and Table is one of my favorite brands from Walmart. They have some really cute, like, kitchenware stuff. If you're in the market for an arched mirror, this one's under $100. It's really cute. I just obviously don't need one. And then this one's gorgeous. It's like a bronzy gold. Antiquey, I love that. We're gonna head to the pillow section because in her TikTok, I saw some really cute pillows. I'm not seeing the ones she talked about. Maybe we'll find them on the other side. This is cute. I gotta see the lamps. This one's cute, but I don't think it's the one. $17. But my RV is like more blue toned, but I feel like both would be cute. I'm gonna take a picture of it and then see if it matches the vibe of the RV. And then they also have really cute lamps. This is adorable for like the kids nightstand. It's like soft rattan type. And then this one's really cute as well. Ooh, they have a larger sized one. These are cute. I stopped in this aisle because I want to see if this is going to work for their Legos. I do need some more sheets though. But I'm not loving their selection. I feel like Target usually had a really really good selection for sheets like cute prints and stuff target has it's just that the target is like an hour away from us i found some more sheets and these are this brand i've never heard of it i think it might be a walmart brand kind of like what target does and they feel so luxurious look at this silkiness so sheeny but i'm looking for some for the kids and i usually love microfiber for them i feel like it's so soft and comfy you would want that one that's a pretty color Ooh, gorgeous. I love like, not paisley, but like stuff like this. I feel like it adds a nice pop if you have white bed quilt, like a white quilt, and then printed bed sheets. I was gonna get these because I love this print. It's like a muted sage green. These are the bins I use for their Legos. Here, I wanna see if it's the same size. If it will fit in the shelving. Ooh. I mean, the other shelf is a little taller, so maybe it will. I do need one more of these. These are great for school supplies. I'm checking myself in yeah? yeah, but I'm gonna wait till I do back to school shopping for that. They're starting to get their fall stuff out. Look at these cute little PJs for the girls. So stinking cute. I stopped in here just for these. I was in the other Walmart and I got this in a pink color, this one right here. I'm telling you, it is literally the best bra ever. It's wire free, very subtle um, padding on the bottom here. The most comfortable bra I've probably ever owned and it gives a little bit of, it's kind of slightly push up. It's so good. And it's only $10.98, so $11. They don't have 
my size in a black one. So I'm gonna pick up this chocolate one. I have this robe in white and I love it. It's only $15 and I have a bunch of other colors. I have a little bit of a funny story time for you guys. So the light went on when I left the house that I need to gas up the car. So I was like, okay, I'll gas up after Walmart since there's a gas station right here. And I was watching TikToks the other day and it was from, I don't know, she worked in like the crime field and it's one of those videos where it's like, things I would never do since I've worked in this field for X amount of years. And her top three were, I forgot what the other two were, but I remembered one of them is I would never leave my car unlocked when I'm gassing up. And then the comments were like, yeah, I've seen so many videos where the car's unlocked and somebody just like slides in and steals a car, steals your stuff, steals your kids. And I'm like, oh shoot. I'm gonna start locking my car. So I locked my car, I opened the window for Elise, and I go to gas up and I'm trying to open the gas tank, like the cover, not the cover, but the actual little door for it. I'm like, what the heck, why isn't it opening? What is going on? Why can't I open this thing? Is it stuck? I'm like, I already paid for it, like I inserted my card and everything. And I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Is it because my car is locked? Unlock the car, lo and behold, problem solved. So if you do want to lock your car, you're going to have to first open the little door thingy. I mean, unless your car works differently, but I guess for this car, it locked it. And I was standing there like an idiot, and this guy that's waiting to gas up, he's on a motorcycle, this older gentleman, he's like, probably thought I was an idiot, but I'm like, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. It is what it is. But I definitely learned something new today. By the way, I didn't buy anything at Walmart other than a basket I want to see if their Legos are going to fit because they have a lot of Legos now and I'm running out of storage bins to store them in like they're not fitting anymore and my kids absolutely love Legos so I got one I'm going to see if it fits inside the little cabinet that I have and then I got that bra everything else I'm going to wait until it's back to school shopping there was a little desk that I wanted to get for Eloise so that she can be on a separate table um and then there was like some filing stuff that I wanted to get to file or school stuff but I'm gonna wait until it's like back to school shopping because we don't start I think I know South Carolina starts early like August I don't know 16th or something like around there but I am on New York schedule like we still start the week after Labor Day like the once Labor Day goes by we start like the next day I don't know I feel like I'm already used to it and then we're able to finish the last week of May if we're like on time with all our schoolwork and stuff. So I feel like it works out perfectly fine. We're gonna make a quick stop to Hobby Lobby. It's right next to UPS store after we dropped off the packages. They got the fall stuff out, I'm so excited. These are really cute. They have music playing here, so I don't wanna get flagged. This would be so cute for the bathroom. section like the room inspo. This would have been a cute bowl for like trinkets. I'm trying to see how I can decorate the coffee bar. That's cute. That is cute actually. That's a good find. I feel like I want to buy this and put it somewhere in the house. I know. It's giving like vintage vibes. I actually want to save it. Maybe. Heaven looks like Christmas and smells like coffee, you guys. This makes me so happy. These usually sell out so fast. These are the bigger size, but I wonder if they have smaller ones. They're like velvet. Oh, they do have some cute little velvet. So if you can find them and snag them, they have some brown ones. I might pick up a box. They're coming off more white on camera, but they're like creamy. I'll see how much I can get in without being flagged because there's music going on. But Hobby Lobby honestly has the cutest decor pieces, like little trinkets and stuff that would be triple, if not double the price, or double if not triple, the price on other websites, especially Amazon. If you like Amazon, price gouges like crazy and you can find better prices for some of these things, like little pumpkins, little knickknacks, little vases and stuff for much less. So I'll show you guys what I got, but I also picked up 
peanut butter pretzels. Are you having another one? Yeah, here you go. Reese's are one of my favorite candies. Let me show you guys what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So I got two of these. I thought they were pretty fall-ish. I'm gonna put them in this little vase I got. They had so many cute ones. This one's the perfect color. I swapped it out for the other one that had gold on here. And I think I'm gonna cut these down or maybe just stick them in there to make it shorter. We got this. Next, I did end up buying this. I just thought it was so cute. I think I'm gonna put it by the TV. Just add a little bit of fall decor. This cute little Sherpa pumpkin pillow. This is gonna match my little boucle stools, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then last but not least, this cute little pumpkin. It's so cute. Not 100% sure where I'm gonna put this yet. Probably by the TV where I have um, like my AirPods, my daughter's lip gloss and stuff. Let's see. some of the things into fall. I have still some things to change out. Like I have to change out these pillow covers because they are very much so springy. That picture right there, it's springy. Some coffee station stuff, you know, things like that. Slowly working on it. I decided to go on walmart.com or the app and see if I can find those pillows that the girl was talking about on the TikTok because they're so cute. And I'll insert the picture of the pillows here that she was talking about. They are so adorable. They're like blue velvet pillows and they have these ties on the corners. They're so stinking cute. I have them in my cart, if anything. They're only $15 for a pillow, and it includes the actual inside pillow. But as I was browsing, I saw some really cute items from Drew Barrymore's line. I have her air fryer right there. She has some really cute house. Like Her aesthetic is really nice, in my opinion, but I saw some cute things from her as well. She has this really fun like floral lamp like a flower like a tulip if we had a house i would 100 percent buy it for the girls room i did see this one the six inch lamp right here is cordless and i think this would be really cute in the kids room on their little dresser so i added this to my cart as well and i'm telling you walmart is like stepping it up you would be surprised you would be surprised Pumpkin spice latte. This is the first pumpkin spice of the season. Mm. Just smelling it reminds me so much of when I first bought it at our previous house and just so many memories. If you want to finish the video here, I did some more browsing on Walmart and let me tell you, let me tell you, they have so many cute finds <laughs> that my fingers are itching not to purchase everything because it looks so cute. But I might buy a few things, maybe some pillows. We'll see. I'll let you guys know if I do. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. And hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Cheers.